Hello everyone, how are you all? Welcome back to Agriculture Optional CSC. Guys, this is the first lecture on the lines which we have promised to you that we will bring you the whole Agricultural Optional course which will be completed in just 20 days and I'll be putting 8 hours each. So maximum content will be provided to you in just 20 days. Our reference materials will be of KB's evolution and other study material which is prevalent in the market. So today on this lines we will be completing our ecological ecology section that is basically agri ecology. I hope you all are doing really well and connected to me. I don't need a lot of subscribers. I don't need your likes or comment. It is a no bullshit channel. I'll just be teaching you things in a certain way. If you understand it, then understand uh, it in a pro uh, proper way and join me uh, in the whole process. If you don't understand it, thank you so much for your time and uh, you can like uh, watch other videos. But this is a no nonsense channel where I'll not be asking you anything. I just want few students who can stick to me and who can understand my way of learning. So I'll be teaching you this whole agricultural optional and today is our first class in this direction. I hope you will like it. And if you are liking it, join our telegram channel and show comment that you are liking it. You, you will be following it so that I'll get the motivation to complete this course in just 20 days. I don't need a lot of people. I just need 10, 20 people who can stick to this syllabus and the timeline I have given you. And for more doubts, you can comment uh, in the comment section. So before starting, what will be our approach? Our approach will be first to see the PYQs. We'll be analyzing the PYQs that how answers, how questions are being asked in the examination. Do we have to read all of it? Or we have to have the crux, the keywords of all the syllabus we have. So we will be focusing, focusing on what keywords, but how? by seeing the PYQs, analyzing PYQs and we'll start with the ecology PYQs, agri-ecological uh, PYQs. Then we will be seeing the content part one by one and I'll be teaching in a very different way. You will be liking it. I know that. Just stick to it guys. So let's see the previous question first. Let's see the syllabus first. What is our syllabus, right? ecological and environmental science with respect to agriculture not respect to environment it is respect to agriculture right so first of all they have asked that what is the ecology and its relevance to man it's a very generic thing first we will talk in a very generic way key that what does it mean without studying what we can write about this content everyone can write about this content guys we will just add things what is in uh, the content or what will what are the other students reading it right we just have to know this. Otherwise, we know all of this that what we can write in this. Now, second is natural resources. Okay, their sustainable management and conservation. How we can utilize natural resources in a sustainable way and how can we conserve it? So basically, it is talking about the climate change scenario also. In climate change also, we have to protect our environment. So basically we can say that the Earth Summit made a lot of convention and out of which three are important that is CBD, Convention on Biological Diversity, Convention on Climate Change and Convention on Land Degradation. Three conventions came and these are all important and seeing that their uh, sustainable management of these resources, natural resources. Again a very easy topic. Now physical and social environment as factors. So we have two factors, physical factor and social environment factor of crop distribution. The crop is being distributed because of two factors. One they are talking about is physical. Now what comes under physical? We will see that and production. Then we will see agroecology that how ecology is impacting agriculture and cropping pattern as indicators of environment. How cropping pattern is showing that environment is suitable for it. That we will see. And also tell me that are you all comfortable with English that Hindi plus English or I should keep uh, teaching you in English. Uh, do comment guys. Then we will see environmental pollution 
and associated hazard to crops, animals and humans. Very important and very easy. That we all know that pollution is impacting humans. You will say asthma, you will say bronchitis and all these uh, diseases are happening because of this air pollution environment. But if I say that what are the problems that are happening to crops, how will you say that? Except photosynthesis will stop. You have to know certain word necrosis, chloro, uh, chlorosis, necrosis, reddening, browning. These are few diseases which you have to mention and we will rectify this. Then we will see climate change, international convention, global initiative, which we were talking about in this section also. So these are all integrated section and we will study it in a very comprehensive way. Greenhouse effect, very easy and global warming, all environmental overlapping is there. Advanced tools for ecological system like remote sensing and geographical information system will study also this. Now first see the previous question, what is being asked from this section, right? We will see first this. Now see that in uh, this section, you will see that ecology and its relevance is to map. The question is being asked is define ecology. Simple definition of ecology is asked and mention its basic concept. What is the basic concept related to ecology and its relevance in crop production? That means they have, they have specifically asked that what is the importance of environment ecology in a crop production? Understand this. And establish the relationship so we but we have to know ecology kya hota hai, what is ecology and how it is relevant to man and how man how it is relevant to man in a numerous way but out of all the ways it is very essential it is very relevant to man in terms of crop production also so we'll see this establish the relationship between nature indian culture and indian agriculture wow what a question nature indian culture and indian agriculture may you have to establish a connection so keep this mind that you have to connect all these topics to List down the principle of ecology. So what we have to understand what is ecology? What is its basic concepts? What is the principle? What are the principles of ecology? How to develop productive and sustainable ecosystems? Ecological concept of productivity. Define plant ecology. So basically what we have to learn in this is see our basic idea would be to understand what is ecology sir what is the definition of ecology then we will see what are the basic concepts related to it then we will see what are the basic components of ecology then we will see how ecology is relevant to man and one way ecology is relevant to man is because of crop production so how it is relevant for crop production this we will see this much is enough to counter this part exit we have to see nothing else then we'll move ahead we'll see natural resources their sustainable management and conservation how we can utilize natural resources in a very sustainable ma manner and how can we conserve it we have to see this the major ways for sustainable management of natural resources so kya ways hain jis pe hum natural sustainable management we do the sustainable management of natural resources so one way is to write your opinion we don't have to write it we have to write the government opinion about it. So government policies regarding sustainable use of natural resources. So it comes under the Convention on Biodiversity and it comes under Biological Diversity Act of 2002 specifically says that how you can conserve these natural resources and how can you utilize these natural resources. We will talk about this. Describe ecological principles for productive and sustainable agriculture. Okay, so what are the principles you need for productive and sustainable agriculture? Short note on conservation of natural resources. How can you conserve natural resources? Short critical notes on natural resource management. So this is basically, we have to understand what are natural resources and how they can be sustainably used and conserved sustainably. Second, third is physical and social environment as factors of crop distribution and production. So crops are distributed somewhere paddy is grown in a large quantity somewhere millets are grown. So how physical and social environment are creating as a factor. What are the physical factors and what are the social factors related to it? We have to understand this. Illustrate with example the abiotic components in the ecosystem that influence crop growth. That means physical component they are talking about. Under physical we will study about the abiotic biotic. Indian farmer usually chose crops that they, and their variety based on their socio-economic aspects resources at the disposal 
critically comment what this question is asking is why indian farmers usually choose crops and their varieties based on their econo socio economic aspects like if they are rich they will go for something else if they are poor they will go for only one crop monocropping so why this is happening critically comment right different element of weather affecting crop production with suitable examples so basically we are just seeing that what they want to know these physical and social environment factors social factors what are the social factors are they rich poor farmers uh, you know that 80 85 to 90% of the indian farmers are marginally and uh, small farmers so how their crop, crop distribution are uh, affected because of this we will understand this from this part theek okay? hai next we will move on to agroecology agroecology cropping pattern as indicators how cropping pattern can decide that it if uh, indicators of environment this is a very interesting chapter so what kind of questions are being asked see this discuss the impact of changing climate on cropping pattern we have to discuss the impact of changing climate that cl how climate change is impacting the cropping pattern monocropping multiple cropping terrace cropping how this is being affected and agriculture production agriculture output is increasing or decreasing because of this climate change we have to understand this i hope you all are with me and understand only focus upon the things which i am saying right now don't see anything else in the pdf right now right explain agro ecological management strategies so what are the agro ecological management how can you agro ecological management strategies as in 2014 so these questions are not frequent 2019 last time asked so this is also not a frequent topic theek hai this is also not a frequent this is a frequent topic 2020 20 18 14 series 21 14 so these are randomly asked so we have to have the command on whatever written in the syllabus right next we will see pollution and associated hazards like environmental pollution is hazardous to crops and everybody know this but explain how crops how crops become uh become very difficult to how for crops it is uh, it is being difficult to survive because of this environmental pollution you have to describe it with examples that how leech uh, how uh, apricots because of fluoride concentration they become uh, they for, they become yellowish or you can say fluorosis this all we have to learn in this in situ and ex situ management of crop paddy crop how in situ and ex situ management can be done they are asking us to describe environmental pollution and write the role of air e forest air forestation in minimizing the effects they are directly asking environmental pollution effect on animals and human direct directly asking again yes this is a very simple climate change international convention discuss where in international convention recent global and pertaining to climate change you can always say about unf triple c and the following cops related to it recent cop is cop number 21 glasgow you all must be reading it it in uh, current affairs punch amrit we'll all connect this impact of climate change on livestock fisheries they are asking ozone layer depletion they are asking next you will see greenhouse effect and global warming so what is greenhouse effect write in detail about various greenhouse gases and their impact on crop production this is also very easy everything you have to connect with the crop production this is not environment we are studying this is we are studying environment with respect to agriculture you have to understand this see every question is being connected explain el nino and give his cause to agri indian agriculture all right same goes with this we will understand all these things theek okay? hai let's do it and let's start our first discussion on ecology and its relevance i'll share the pdf with you those do not have can connect to my telegram channel and they can have it from there first we will read about ecology and its relevance to man